classroom studies are now directed more towards preparation for industry than academic learning. Years ago, this might have been a physics class. Now it's called technology. The students don't sit in rows taking notes. Instead, they're all busy creating their own projects. Yeah. Have you, have you sorted that out yet, the design yeah, the circuit, of that? Yeah, you, do you know how you're going to actually do it? Yeah, it's here, I've drawn it out. These, these lads are fifth years, they're in the second year of the GCSE course in technology. Probably technology a word that wasn't even invented properly when we were at school. So uh, that's basically what they're doing and this is all the coursework element that they're involved in. Coursework does in fact account for something like 64% uh, of the total mark for the course. The other being made up of the theory work of three modules that they've got to study. But basically they've got to show evidence of, of their skills, both craft skills and the, uh, the theoretical skills, hopefully, that they've picked up in the, in the modular work. Uh, and uh, obviously it's, it's a very important part of the course. Is this the kind of thing that people who are making their 14 plus choices might well experience? Yes. Yeah. Now, un under the sort of situation that we're in now, we've uh, tried to prepare for it by introducing the younger children to this type of work to give them an idea of what to expect at the top of the school. And, and we are finding that quite a lot of them are, are really keen on it. Now, now, just one, one little problem there. Yeah. Are you ready to pour in your developer? Yeah. You've got all this stuff set up over the top of the developing tank. Yeah, well, now, well, how are you going to sort that out? So we had our, our third years all on a work simulation program which involved them going out to the local colleges. And we took, for example, people down to engineering. And I think some of the youngsters, even having gone through some of the work we have done in school, still felt that engineering was very much a, in inverted commas, a dirty job. But having gone down and looked at the uh, computer-aided design work and the computer-aided computer -aided manufacture work that's going on, they realise that it is in fact a, becoming a very high-tech industry. And I think that a lot more people have therefore become interested in it. And I think that might have some effect on the sort of choices they would make in areas of science and technology in particular. I think girls particularly realised that there were opportunities that were more attractive to them. In those, sub, in those areas than perhaps they did at one time. In this class, the pupils are learning how to set up their own business. They're finding out about finance, cash flow and VAT. What's new is that here the children learn by doing. They have to find out for themselves how to run a business, in this case Lisa's unisex hairdressing salon, and stay out of the red. Well, say I wanted to set my own business up, well then I think out of this course I've got like, a lot more confidence than what I would have had before I found to take in this course. And um, like, we do all different assignments about sole traders and partnerships and limited companies and with all that information it'll help you um, when you leave school. Recently we went to a bank manager in TSB up Allerton and we had to phone up and make an interview, make an appointment for an interview and then on, that morning we took in a tape recorder and we had to sit it. He was very friendly, he offered us yeah. a cup of coffee, told us to sit down. So we asked him if he wouldn't mind taping the conversation, so we did. We sat down and we talked a bit at first just to get used to each other and then we set the tape going and then we asked him all the questions and he answered them all very well, very detailed questions. Well, I think the teachers themselves have started to realise that there's a lot more to teaching than simply standing and giving information. In fact, I know that is the case. Um, there was a time when teachers talked and pupils listened. That is still there and is needed to be, it needs to be there to a certain extent. But increasingly, teachers are actually becoming managers of the learning situation. They are the people who uh, set up situations in which youngsters can actually learn. They are there to help the youngsters solve their own problems. Um, and I think, and to encourage the youngsters to take more responsibility for their own learning situations. And I think that in itself is enabling the youngsters and the teachers to uh, develop skills which perhaps they didn't have at one time. I might add that I think the job is a lot more difficult for, for the teachers because no longer have they got everybody in the same classroom doing the same thing and no longer is everybody in the same classroom moving at the same pace. So the job in, in that sense is a great deal harder, but when we are successful, I think is also a, a lot more rewarding as well. 
Good work, Mr. Shackleton. 14-year-olds there learning at a tender age the realities of working for a living. Well, with us we have our Which Way panel. Let's introduce you again. Uh, David Moore, Granada's Education.